welcome to Rad City. The next episode, we're out here. We're gonna go do something a little bit different today, a little bit special. We're gonna go visit a, a bike company today and, and see what they're all about. So let's check this out and we'll do this. Hi. You really came, man. Danke. Ich habe gestern dein Video erst gesehen und wollte dich eigentlich mal fragen, ob du mal nicht vorbeikommst. Ja, genau. Hier auf bist jeden du. Fall. Cool. Hey, auf jeden Fall. Cool. Wie geht's euch? Alles gut? Sehr schön. Hallo. Dankeschön. How long did you wait? Uh, 138 days. 130, you count the days. <laughs> It was well worth the wait. Yeah, you know. sure. Yeah, like that. Sticker, they googled the bike, check all the like, specs. Yeah, because now in Berlin it's really, really What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rad City Berlin. I'm out here at the Urban Drive Cell headquarters. They make one of the most iconic e bikes on the market out here in Europe, and they're impossible to miss in the streets. Now, Uni EMK started out with the need to have a two up cargo bike back in 2016. It evolved from the Uni MK to now, as you see here, with the Uni Swing. And now coming soon to the market here is a never released UDX Panzer. You can't even get this on the market yet. It's coming soon. So I'll be proud to show you guys this as well too in Rad City. First up we'll do the Uni Swing, show you guys the Uni Swing. And then we'll move over to the UDX Panzer at some point. And then we'll finish this all off with a Uni MK review, their flagship model. I want you guys to write me if you guys have a cool Uni MK, let me know. They're highly customizable, so I want to see your all's creation. I want to see what you guys are riding. Let me know if you guys are here in the Berlin area. And be doing all kinds of reviews and stuff like this throughout the month of November, December. Look forward to that to show you guys. So please enjoy these Urban Drive Style Specials. Help support Rad City Berlin by subscribing, leaving a comment, and hitting that thumbs up. And without any further ado, this is my review of the 2020 Urban Drive Style Uni Swing. And today I'm going to show you all the different features, all the different specifications, show you some of the quirks and features and take this thing at the end for a test ride. The 2020 Uni Swing electrically pedal assisted bicycle. Really nice, the battery here is underneath the seat. The nice uh, center, uh, center mass for the weight. So you have here the battery, you have here the motor, here in the middle you're using here we have here a nice torque sensor, similar to the Super 73, a nice torque sensor to really get you that power that you need. <clears throat> and this thing as you see it comes set up for two people, so this thing is allowed legally to ride two people 
two up on this bike really nice <clears throat> it is as you see here a open design step through design so for unisex for men women everything is allowed sorry in the front and back we have the textural hydraulic disc brakes really a nice stopping power as well too on the back here you have the Bafang hub motor really nice you have the Torni derailleur along with the 7 speed Shimano cassette along with the 250 watt Bafang motor with 9 different power levels so combine that all together for the drive chain you also have a really nice setup here included with that too as well you get these nice Kender Crusade 4 inch wide tires uh, really good grippy tires so here in the front on the uni swing we have here the front suspension which is here um coils it's a quick it's a coil shock so it's not air, air, air shock but it does provide a little bit of suspension along with the tires you know a little bit of suspension on the street for these cobblestone roads as well too you have this nice retro headlight nice bright retro headlight i like that so sitting on the uni swing I am again uh, 179 centimeters, 5'11", sitting on this thing, a nice feel, the seat is nice, a nice and wide seat, firm, so you're not sinking down into the seat, I find the Super 73, the seat is a little bit too soft, whereas this one here is, is definitely harder. Another nice feature for this bike, they have this nice shift indicator, so whereas my Super 73, I have no idea what gear I'm in, like I sometimes guess or look. This one here, you have a nice visual display, so you know exactly what gear you're in, which is very helpful. And as well, too, what I like about the Uni swing down here, the pedal down here, they have this nice bash plate down here. And it's in cork that's welded on there, but it's nice matching color to the frame. So it's nice and clean. Keeps that nice and protected down here, where the torque sensor is located is here. Right, a nice sealed torque sensor. Yeah, the uni swing. Really nice design. The seven speed, the seven speed Shimano makes a really nice drivetrain. And all in all, I mean, it's 31 kilo. So, boom. Okay. So, starting up the uni swing, you have this key down here. So starting up the uni swing, first thing you need to do is to hit this key, turn it on. So a nice quirk of the... So really nice quirk of this, the uh, uni swing and also the uni MK is here that you have the frame number etched into the frame. It's a really, really interesting quirk, really nice feature. There, then you know exactly what your frame number is. There is no question. You don't need to turn over the bike to get to the underside, which is really nice. And a nice feature as well too. You have here a logo etched into the cut into the frame. A nice double, double wide frame. To turn this thing on, you basically have to turn the key to turn it on. And then after that, then you hold down the power. And then the battery and the display shows the mile an hour, your assist, the current time, your trip, how many kilometers are on the bike, your battery level. A nice manual bell. So it's a electronic bell like this, like the Super 73. Really nice feature, really nice touch there, but the manual bell, so people will recognize that. What I also like about the Uni Swing is that you have the nice cables here bound together, which are really nice touch cleans up the bike really a lot here you have this nice analog bell here which is a really nice feature so to go through the different power levels you go through here which then control the number of assist levels nine different levels of power yeah. so the nine different levels of power along with the seven speed shimano shifter along with the torque sensor makes a very nice uh, drivetrain very comfortable, very natural feeling. And it's not like our cadence sensor where you have to pedal, then get the power, you get the power immediately here upon delivery. Really nice, really nice feature. 
So some of the basic features of the Uni Swing MK. It's got a range of up to 100 kilometers, 62 mile an hour range. It's a nice Tektro Hydraulic HD 350 hydraulic disc brakes. It's got some nice Shimano 7 speed SLM310 gears. It's a nice Fat Kenda K1188204 knobby all terrain tires. A really nice chromoly steel frame. And in terms of the electronic components, we have here a nice 250 watt, 48 volt Fang rear hub motor. They get three different battery sizes, 10 amp, 509 watt hours, 14 amp, 696 watt hours, 20 amp, 979 watt hours. Uh, the display, it illuminates uh, while riding. It shows like the different pass level, speed, odometer, and running time. The sensor is a torque sensor with nine different levels of pedal assist. And this bike total, it weighs about 31 kilo with the battery attached, which is a really nice size. Comes with the seven inch headlight. It comes with the seven inch retro headlight, which is a nice feature. It comes as well too with this nice rear headlight. So it makes it all STVL legal here in Germany. The kickstand as well too, standard. The bell as well too is also standard. So some of the accessories on this one are the fenders, the urban drive style fenders. So this thing does not come with fenders. And as well too, another accessory on this one is this rear passenger setup here. That's also an add-on that's not standard. So those are some of the specs of the components. So let's take the um, uni swing for a little test ride here. Show you guys how this thing feels, how it rides. Let me try it out also without any power so you guys can see how this feels with no power so again turn this thing on off on hold down the power bike comes on defaults to level mode one let's put it up to level five this will start with five we're in five seventh gear let's go so i feel that speed kicking in as soon as i start pedaling it's a nice feeling similar to the RX. So there's nine different levels of power along with the seven speed gearing. But it makes for a comfortable ride. I find it's um, a good experience. Good power delivery. And that rear hub motor for sure is strong. Nice power delivery. I'm riding around, no problem. Seventh gear. Let's take this thing for a nice little road. Test here. Pedal assist nine. Nice. I'm missing a smooth on power. The torque sensor is really nice. This thing is just quality. I mean, it's a really nice feeling. And it's uh, super stable like a tank. You don't feel squirrely at all. You know, it's like leaves in the ground. You don't feel like it's going to slip out from underneath you at any time. Yeah, nice feeling. You did a good job with the, with the drivetrain here. That's fine for Europe. If you're going to have pedal assist only, you need to have gears. Seven at a minimum. Ten is better. Seven, fine. At a minimum. It's good. <clears throat> better than no gears. So in America, I have single speed and a throttle and a cadence sensor. Whereas here in Europe, right, they understand we can't get by here like that with those kind of specs. At least, you know, having a cadence sensor and a single speed and no throttle doesn't fly, right? So you need. You need to have that torque sensor, you need to have the gears, urban drive style, a unique brand. They understand the market really well here in Germany. Based here in Berlin, the company started out in Mallorca. Let's go back up to urban drive style. One interesting thing I find about this bike for sure is the suspension. So it has this front suspension. But it's on the spring. So you do get a little bit of bottoming out. You gotta be a bit mindful. It is not a 
mountain bike where you can really take hard drops. <clears throat> you'll hear it clacking around a little bit, you'll hear it bouncing, and you know, you'll, you'll hear it bottoming out sometimes if you're pushing too hard. But otherwise it's fine, it's uh, rides good, you can sing this little bit of a push and it goes nice, it's similar to the RX in that sense, so here, boom, give one little push and it goes. Yeah, riding around on the uni swing, that's nice, I mean it's really a unisex vehicle, the, these big fat grips are a really nice feature, so it's like fatter in the middle which is nice. So now we're on fifth gear, nice. Yeah, that you can see what gear you're in. That's a really nice feature from Urban Drive style. Let's take the thing for a test ride with no power. So, testing out the Uni Swing with no power. Like the RX, let's first get this thing down to a lower gear. So, zero power, fourth gear. I can ride this thing fine like a bicycle. Third gear, even better. That's yeah, fine. It's fine. It's that works. You can ride this thing. Third gear, no problem. That works. With no power. Yeah, pedal, pedal, pedal. So as a normal bicycle, this thing passes that test of not having any power. It definitely passes that test of a normal pedal bicycle with no power. So if you're riding this thing and you get past. 100 km hour range, 62 mile an hour range, and find that the, that the battery is no longer working. This thing you can still ride it with a normal bicycle. Nice feature. So that was my review of the 2020 Uni Swing from Urban Drive Style. Combination of the 7 speed Shimano and the torque sensor makes for a really nice ride, along with the strong textural brakes, gives a good stopping power. Oh, and as well too, this is a cargo bike, so it does have a load capacity of 150 kilograms, or 330 pounds. One thing we gotta show you guys before we finish this review, let's show you guys how we remove the seat on the uni swing. That's one interesting quirk I think you guys will enjoy. So, as you see here, this, the battery is here underneath the seat. Good placement, keeps it protected from rain, and also from theft. Right, as you see, you can't remove this. There's no way to remove it. So how do you remove the battery? Here a hinge on the seat. On the front of the seat is a hinge. So you can just lift that up, boom. And then here, you have to unlock it. You have this position here. So all the way to the right is to turn it on. And the middle is off. And then to the left is to unlock it. Pull out the key, because you can't pull it out with the key, because the frame. Then you can pull it out. Plug it in, and you're good to go. Nice cell, not so heavy. In comparison to the RX, the battery is definitely lighter, I would say. So put the battery back in. Just gotta put it back into this channel down here. Put it right back into this channel. It's got this nice guide on here. Push it in, push it down, close it up. And battery's not back in there. Seat back down. Now you can put the key back in. Turn it on, you're good to go. So that's really nice. So the battery, we, we took out, show you guys how to do the battery removal. Went over the seven speed gearing. Checked out here the torque sensor a little bit. Took this thing for a ride. Show you guys a little bit how this thing rides, how it works. Uh, as well to a little bit of zero battery power test <clears throat> and you can compare this you can basically so one last thing I want to show you guys is to the comparison so I'm sitting on this flat footed you see how my knees are bent how far my arms are higher which is in terms of comfortability if you're a tall person it's much nicer for sure so again with the swing we're sitting we're sitting a little bit more firmer, for sure. That's, 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 a, that's a good feel. If you're a taller person, the swing will definitely be comfortable for you. If you're, say, one meter 80, one meter 90, it should be fine. 
<clears throat> or even shorter so it's a good size so that was my review of the 2020 uni swing hope you guys enjoyed it um before i let you guys go before i end the video I just want to remind you guys to please like share and subscribe hit that subscribe button hit that like button leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of the bike let me know what you guys think of the video and last but not least i'm glad to offer you guys a discount code for the purchase of an urban drive style bike uh, off the website look for the discount code below in the in the description of the video uh, I'll, I'll add this to every single urban drive style review coming up uh, look for this code 150 euro off your next bike at urban drive style check it out it's a good deal get you guys a cool e-bike here from berlin the cool thing is if you, have, if you guys buy it in berlin you guys can pick it up from the headquarters here which is a nice feature so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll catch you guys in the next review like share and subscribe uni swing urban drive style rad city super 73 we out of here hope you guys uh stay safe stay rad see you guys again next week mm -hmm.